Hey guys, what is up? It is Blind McCarries here today, back with another video. I'm sorry guys for being gone so long. It's been like six to eight months now, but I am back going to the grind once again. And we are back with a brand new game that you guys haven't seen before. Hopefully you guys are excited. This game is called Dead by Daylight. Don't know if you've heard about it, but it's a pretty sick game. So I'm going to be going for three rounds this game. I'm going to do three rounds, or two rounds as survivor, and one round as killer. Now I'm not going to explain everything about this game, but as you watch, hopefully you'll get a grasp of sort of what it's, what's going on in the game, pretty much. Alright, for this match, I'm going to be using probably the worn out tools. And I'm going to select an add-on. Let's use scraps and wire spool. And for my offering, I'm going to use. Hazy Regent. A Regent. Moderately thickens the darkness. Coolio. Okay, looks like we have everyone here. We just have to wait for everyone to ready up. Alright guys, here we are. We are on Fractured Cow Shed in the Cold Wind Farm. So as we play, I'm going to be telling you pretty much, I guess, the gist of it. So the first thing you should start doing is looking for generators to turn on so you can get the doors open right there. So you want to look for flashing lights in the sky like this one. And you just start working on it. While listening for the killer's heartbeat. That is what we are going to do. And that's called a skill check. If you miss those, the generator blows up. And the killer finds out where you are. And that is no good. So we will try to hit every skill check possible. If we can. And if you hit it on the white part like that, then you get a great skill check. So looks like we're halfway done. So far, no kidding. So, so far, so good. Alright, we got one generator gun there. Which means the killer might be coming this way. Because the killer, the killer's view, they can see where every generator is. So if they go to that generator, they're going to know that they're probably heading to the next generator. Which would be this one. So, here we go. Alright, we got two. We need three more. Hopefully this game can go by super fast if possible. Haven't seen the killer anywhere or heard him. I swear, if it's a bot, I, I will not be surprised. If you guys know what a bot is, it's basically like the killer just stands there and we can do all the generators. And pretty much just get a bunch of free points. And as great as that sounds, it's not very challenging. And I love the challenge. Looks like we're getting done with this one pretty fast. The more people on the generator, the faster it goes. So you want to make sure you stick with your teammates and try to get all the generators done. ASAP. So I'm, I'm, I am guessing it is most likely a bot. Because we are running around freely. And usually if you run around like this, he is sure, or he or she is sure to find you. So... It's most likely a bot, but I guess this is good for you guys to see so you can understand pretty much how the game works. And it's three points for me, so that's good too. And there's also things called chests that are around the map, and if you search them, you find items like the toolboxes, like the medkits. And if you survive this round, then you keep them. And if the only other way to obtain them is through the blood web. So, hopefully we can run across one. It's okay if we don't. Yeah, see, look. The killer's a bot. And that's what it sounds like. So when he gets near you, he has a heartbeat. And as he gets closer, he gets louder and louder and louder and louder. And you also have these things, which basically you can pull down to stop the killer dead in his tracks. So, because we have a bot, everyone's going to want to farm the bot and, like, get hit by the bot. Then... You can help your teammates up well, since they're down. Uh, because of this is just a demonstration, it's my first match. I'm actually just gonna 
leave when it is time to go. So she's opening the door right now. Okay, so that was pretty simple. Pretty easy, I mean, clearly. So you get ranked based on your performance. So you have objective, survival, altruism, and boldness. And then based on what you scored in each category, you get points for it and you can do certain things with those points. And then you have a list of all the people who are in your match. So this is me and this is the other people and this is the killer. So we scored 11,000 points, so that went over to my blood points. So now I can buy things. So if we go over to open menu, we go to the blood web. This is where I can buy perks, add-ons, and things like worn out tools. And once you buy everything in the blood web, then you level up. So now I am level 13. And usually you only get one perk, so this time I got Dark Sense. Unlocks potential and one's aura reading ability. When the exit gates are powered, the killer's aura is revealed to you for 3 seconds. Now, that doesn't sound too great, but as you upgrade the perk, you get it again and again, it'll level up to 3. So you see the little slash in the corner? That's only 1. So once it's 3, then it's maxed out. So right now, since I have 7,000 left, I have a few choices I can get. These ones are uncommon, these ones are more common. So I definitely want the med kit. And I might want more scraps for my toolbox. And this is the shrine, this is where you buy uh, more, I guess, like these are where you buy better perks. But I, I had these two perks already, so I don't need them and I can't use these two. So for the loadout, this is what I have. And the perks that I have are Resilience 3, Prove Thyself 2, Spine Shield, Small Game, and bond. So right now I am using bond and I have all these other perks. But I find that using bond is the best because you get to locate where your teammates are if they come close to you. And that helps when you're working on generators. So we're going to play one more survivor game. Hopefully we don't get a bot killer. And I can actually show you a real match and hopefully win. I'm not the best survivor but I am, I would say I'm decent, I'm okay. Alright guys, we are back playing round two as Survivor. Last match was a good introductory I would say, but this match is going to be a W. Okay, so we have a saboteur. So basically, the perks you get are really important. Like, the perks she has allows her to sabotage hooks without having a toolbox, and that is priceless. Unfortunately, I am lagging, but it shall be okay. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. So I'm lagging pretty bad, which puts me at a severe disadvantage. But we shall power through. As long as we hit all of our skill checks, we should be just fine. Great, on to the next one. It looks like they got that one already. Okay. And always we have to keep a lookout for a chest. Because having free stuff is great. So this one was already done. So I know where one free chest is, where it is usually. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Oh, I'm dead. He will probably lose me through the cornfield, which is great. Or he won't, and I will let him die. Well, 
Well, that sucks. It's okay. I believe my friends will save me. So if he has you, the only chance you have to escape is to wiggle out. Wow. That is nice, man. Oh, he's he he screwed himself over. That was great. It's partially my fault though. But this this lag is terrible, man. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna wait up here until he decides to come get me, or he'll forget about me. But he does hear me in pain, and I make sounds. So as long as he goes away, I should be fine. But if he does decide to come for me, I do have an exit route, so that's good too. So the major goal is to watch him leave, and then go back to repairing that generator. Because generators are the one thing you should fully focus on. So, I'm not sure where he went, but he did go away because we can't hear heartbeat. Now that could mean that he's using a perk that makes his heartbeat go away, which I have for my killer that I'll be showing you, or he's actually left, either one. Nevertheless, we will continue repairing this generator. Not sure where the friends are, but I would love to heal about now. Looks like he's off chasing someone. And I messed up. That just goes to show you, I did that on purpose. <laughs> to show you, oops, well, I did it twice already. That's what happens, the killer gets alerted that you're there and it resets some of your progress and stops you momentarily from repairing it. So, FYI, don't mess up on the skill checks. So if you see that guy down there, he's actually found a chest and he's searching through it right now. And that's what it looks like. So he's got one on the hook, one of them's down, and it's just me and this other guy. So after this gen's done, I am going to go save them. He's setting a trap right now in front of the person on the hook. So that's good to know, which means we have to disarm the trap and then get the person. And it looks like he's coming our way, or my way, away from the other people, which is good for a rescue mission. He is still within the vicinity though, and we are about to finish this. Okay. Alright, so now I have a few options. I can either keep working on gents and save myself, or go get my teammates and save them. If you see the little red bar below college IPRO, um, that's his how much health he has left in that. So if I get over there before that goes all the way down and I can take him off, then that's good. Oh, this is not good. I have a good feeling he's actually camping. Yeah, he is camping. Yep. That is what you call a killer camper. And they camp you on the hook until you die. That's it. And they are trash in my book. Trash in everyone's book as far as I know. I don't tend to camp when I am the killer, but I do soft camping, which means I walk away for a good while, come back every once in a while. But some still say that is camping. Only soft camping. Okay, so we picked up a toolbox. So either we find the hatch and get the hell out of here, or we actually go rescue this guy and keep working on generators. It does look like he's gonna he's walking away. You can still hear me groan if he really hear listens.
Oh no. Okay. So we got someone off. And we just gotta get the heck out of here and heal each other up. That is what is has to happen. Come here, come here, come here, come here. No, he chose me! No! Well, this is bad. Hopefully the other guy can sneak away. We have someone over there working on the generator, so that's good. And I'm trying to recover in case someone decides they want to come and get me off the ground. So I'm healing myself ahead of time so that they can heal me much faster. Problem is, is that both of the people are injured. So if they try to come get me and they end up getting hit once, they're gonna go down. And that is no good. Yeah, I know, I'm coming, I'm coming. He's chasing the other guy, which gives us a good Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Killer's not here, man. Come on. Oh, killer is here. Don't run away my job now to hide as much as I can from the killer without him saying, oh, yeah, see, now he's down. Should've got me. So we have no chance of getting off the ground unless the other guy comes and gets us. There's no way to fully heal myself off the ground unless I had, I think, a med kit. But bleeding out will take a very long time if he can't find us. does find us, he can put us on a hook, but if he, and if he does also find us, then we can have a chance to wiggle out if there's not any hooks near us, and if we do wiggle out, we go up to the second state, which means we can actually run. So he triggered that, which means the killer should be leaving to go find the other guy, and the other guy is on his way to find us, but he's heading in the direction that the killer just left. So either he juked the killer and he's on his way, or he's being really bold. Come on, get me up, get me up! Okay. Oh god! I really thought I had a lot more time than that. I was gonna pull down the barrier so I can have him go away. So now I'm trying to hide in the tall grass and heal myself as much as possible so that they can get me up. Once they get me up, we'll give each other heals and all will be good. So he's going to be coming for me. We should fully heal ourselves and then go for the other guy. Okay, okay so he's going to fully heal me. And then I'm gonna fully heal him. So then we can't be one shot anymore. And this also requires skill checks. And if you miss him, then you stab him on accident, and I think the killer can see that. Okay. So now we have to go get him. But good thing we uh we're back to full health, so it's going to take two hits to get us. Bad thing is since we're against the trapper, he will most likely have put a trap there in front of it. And I see him moving around. So we have to disarm the trap, then get him. That's one of the benefits of being trapper, is that you have a trap. But each of the killers have their own benefits. So. Okay. Don't, don't. Do you see how he's moving? That means he's trying to get off the hook himself. He knows where I am. He's coming for my booty. And that hurts. And because I'm lagging, I'm not, I feel like I'm just not getting far. So he completely left me and everyone's off the hook. 
or he just died for some reason. Did he die? He, there's no way he just died. He got off the hook, didn't he? Oh, he did die. Oh, that's terrible. Okay, so we have a few options. Either we wait till the last guy dies, or we find, or we complete one more generator, or we just wait till the last guy dies, find the hatch, and leave. I'd rather have us both escape, but at this point, I'm not sure how feasible that's gonna be. Especially with all this lag. Okay, here's here's this guy. He's going to destroy this totem for extra points. And then I'm gonna give him back rubs and he's gonna give me back rubs. And if we can, if we do one more generator, we can go to either one or two doors. If I miss this, the healer is literally going to find us, and that is no good. Okay, we're fully healed. Where are we going? Okay, there's one in the middle of the map that's not done, and there's one off to the right that's not done. If we go to middle of map, it's not a great idea. I'm not a fan of going to the middle of the map, no way. Oh, where is he? Oh man, oh that was close. I, I'd much rather just go on the outside of the map. So this is also something you can do, you can sabotage the hook. So that he'll have to look for different hooks. So that could give you time to wiggle. So I am going to take advantage of that while having this free toolbox that I found. And hopefully it has enough juice in it to take this one hook down. So that if I do get trapped over here, he won't have a place to hang me. And now he probably knows where I am. Oh no. Yep, that hurt. That hurt. Now, this is also something you can do. You can hide in these, but if they open it and they find you in it, then you, you're you like auto down and they can put you on a hook instantly. So I don't know how he didn't hear me open it, but he didn't. So I got hit once and my partner did. Now if I get this generator, we're right next to a door and we can literally get out of here really easy. So I am gonna do just that. And it sounds like it's already been worked on a little bit. So actually, I'm going to repair it with the toolbox, with what the toolbox has left, so it goes slightly faster. We're going to get the heck out of here if we can. Oh no. That is not good, guys. That is not good. That means he's going to go check the, what just made that sound. Hopefully he goes the other way. Sounds like he just went the other way. Oh, I see him. Ooh, he completed a generator. That means that the killer is going to go that way. Oh, guys, this is good. Our friend completed the generator. We're going to get this done. Because he knows that there's a door closer to the other guy. So I'm going to actually do a food save. And hopefully the other guy is too. This is great, guys. This is an ex a good example game. This couldn't have gone any better than it did. This is definitely one for the books. There we go, guys. Now we can either wait for our friend to come, or we can leave. And I left. And I am out. Alright, guys. So that was two killer rounds. Hopefully you enjoyed. I mean, the first one was just a bot, but it gave you a good understanding of what to look for. And the second was an actual match, which had a lot of mess ups and, you know, it's a lot of things to learn. But I did score really high, so I'm going to get a lot of blood points to upgrade in the future. So, I'll see you when we do the killer round. Alright, here we go guys, we are back. 
and we are playing as killers. So there's a few things you're gonna notice that are different. It is first person view. So basically you're gonna be able to see where every generator is and where every trap is that I can pick up and use. So I am the trapper and I place traps. That's pretty much it. And I hit people and wreck them. So th as you saw there, that means that someone was working on a generator and accidentally messed up. That's basically what it comes down to. So because they messed up, now I can find them. And it is hard to see his killer, that's another thing. You can see the crows. As people pass crows, it'll be. I'll, I'll pretty much get a warning or a notification like, hey, people are over here. Okay, so you see these little scratch marks? This means that someone has ran past. And I have no idea where they went. That is, that is frustrating. So, one of the strategies I use is that I try to run from every generator to generator to generator. And you gotta get two smacks on these guys, so I got the first one, and now I am trying for the second one. So this is a barricade on the town, and now it is a barricade that is gone. So I, as you can hear, I don't know if you guys can hear him, but he is whining because he is hurt. So I'm trying to cut him off at every point I can to make sure that there's no way he can escape. So I just gotta pick him up, find the nearest hook, and put him on it. So it looks mm. like this is probably my nearest hook. Uh, and it's also by a generator, yeah, so that's also a bonus. Because yeah, yeah. I can watch it. So it looks like one generator has done so far. And I am going to put a trap underneath him now. That's going to prevent people from getting him right off the hook, like, automatically. Now, I don't know how much people I'm going to end up killing this game, because they already have two generators done, which is pretty insane if you ask me. Uh, many people do it that fast. So you see this trap, I'm just going to pick it up, and if you don't pick up traps, then... So I'm going to get the same guy, because it's going to be hard for him to get down. So basically, if he goes up a second time, then now he has to struggle. And if he goes up a third time, then he instant. He, he pretty much dies instantly. Yeah. So I'm not going to worry about going for the girl that took him yeah. off the first time. I'm just going to worry about putting him on the second time. And now he's instant because he did struggle originally which is something he didn't have to do and he would have survived if I got him on the hook again but because he struggled the first time he got instant killed pretty much so now I just gotta find other people because they are shredding through generators really fast now I will win even though I killed one person but I won't get as much points because it literally is only one person one person's here and I saw the other one, but I'm not going to go for her. Since this is the one that actually took him down, I feel like I should get revenge on her. Now she's waiting for me to come so she can pull down the barrier. And here she goes. Just like that. So she's right now she's healing herself. She's going to go around. This didn't work for her last time, and it won't work this time. And we got her down. I don't know why she decided to do the same thing over again. It didn't work the first time. So now since we use that... Oh, she has the size to strike. So basically that's a perk that allows you to stab the killer. So you can automatically get away. So she ran and I actually saw where she went. So she is a little bit screwed. And she came back to me. So because she has the size to strike, the size to strike, she can only use it once. So now she has to actually struggle for her life. So I'm going to go put her on this nice hill here. And they actually have all generators done, except one now, which means I might not get all four kills like I wanted, but I should be able to get a good amount besides that. So this is problematic, because there's another hook there, so I'm actually going to put this one here and pick up the second one, because I cannot have that there. And that won't actually prevent people from getting her. But if I do get her a second time, she, if she continues to struggle, then if I get her a second time, she she will be dead. 
this person already ran from this direction and I just have to follow the scratch marks and I will find her. Here she is. She has sprint purse, sprint purse I think is what it's called. So she can run really fast in a short amount of time. Looks like someone got the other person off the hook. I thought that was her. I don't know why I thought that was her. And the person who was on the hook got healed just now, so that's not good. Not doing too well. Not as well as I wanted. They only have one gen to go, so if I get this person on the hook, that'll be substantial. And she has to say some strike. So she's gonna run away. And I'm just gonna follow her. So she's she might try to juke me, she might try to hide. But I'm pretty sure I can get her. So I have to go all the way around the rock, which sucks. She's gonna go pull down this barrier. But because I have a special perk, I shred barriers really, really fast. She went through the window, it takes me forever to get through windows as a killer. So she's gonna get a decent amount of distance away from me. I also get points from shredding barriers, which is also good. Okay, and every time I swing in if I miss... Oh, this is not good. I might get two kills only and that'll be it. I'm heading over here because her friends could possibly be here. She hopped out the window. I will not go through the window because it takes forever and it looks like she got away. Okay. Well, there's still one left and I guarantee you she will be coming this way. Or she's opening that one. So this wasn't the best round and I guarantee you I'm going against people who are much higher ranks than I am. And you might see that. Yeah, so she's most likely over here going to taunt me, yeah? Oh, I see what you're doing. Okay, so she's probably just going to go for the exit now. Yeah, that's what I thought. And she's out. Okay, so I got one dead, which wasn't bad and three still lives but I do think it's because they had better perks than I did but regardless it was still a good match to show you guys so yes if you see I'm ranked 13 there's 13 11 there's even a second rank and these are the perks that they all use so they all had four perks I only had two so far so they had more of the upper edge uh, Every one of them had decisive strike except the level 20, and every one of them had looks like the sprint burst except this one. And they also had a few others that were that helped them out um, a lot. So we did pretty good, guys, as killers. So I'm glad to show you guys this game. It's probably my new favorite game, I'd say, besides the Minecraft. So if you guys enjoyed today's episode, let me know in the comments below. I'll probably make it a series. Maybe road to killer rank one or survivor rank one. Killer rank one will take a lot less because I'm halfway decent. And survivor rank one will take much, much longer. So it's up to you guys what you want to see. So if you enjoyed today's episode, please leave a like, maybe even comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed. And we will talk to you in the future.